Not to say that I need this particular snail slushy, but I do need something. It's like a binky is honestly what it is. Hi GQ, I'm Hunter Schaefer and these are my essentials. This is my Polaroid. It's pretty amazing because it's got autofocus, which is not a thing with a lot of Polaroids. I love having this particularly when I'm on set with a bunch of beautiful actors and beautiful sets and locations. I kind of just feel like a duty to capture everything. And they're really fabulous pieces of history that I get to like take home with me. I have so many good ones from Euphoria and from Cuckoo. There's a really beautiful body photographs that I think I'm gonna put out in the world somehow. These are my jeans. I have a lot of jeans, but this is basically the only pair that I wear. I got them a few years ago. They're a Margiela. In general, like with a pant, I love like a relaxed fit and the color is kind of perfect. I mean, obviously the blue jeans go with just about everything. They're not totally boring either. They've got like this fun little detail with muslin peeking out of the pocket. It's comfortable. I sleep in them a lot of the time. I first got interested in fashion like when I was a kid and I was drawing a bunch of comics and I realized like what I liked about making characters was drawing their outfits. Next, we have Shiseido eye patches. I wasn't really an eye patch girly until maybe like last year. I fly so much that obviously dries out your skin on the airplane and it's like a lot for your skin to go through. These are like a nice way to get some moisture back in your face and feel kind of like fabulous when you're cooped up on the plane. They have like a bunch of goo, which I think just really kind of helps with like the hydrating moment. You can like, you know, put it wherever. I mean, they're really cute. They look like little sea creatures or something. I'm not gonna put it on my face because I have makeup right now and I'm still in the middle of a photo shoot, but like it's super gooey and kind of cold and sweet. They're really yummy and they smell good. I've like drawn and painted ever since I was a kid. I mean, I thought I was gonna like do art with my life and it's still something that I wanna keep up. Shiseido sent these watercolors to me as a gift. They are just gorgeous pigments. I'm gonna show a few little pigments just to like show how gorgeous they are wet and on the paper. This one is one of my favorites cause it's like so kooky and kind of acidic. It's gorgeous. It sort of maintains like some moisture in the palette. You can kind of like gunk it up and layer, which is really nice. Cause sometimes watercolor can feel really thin and then you have to like let it dry and do a bunch of layers. When I've directed music videos, I usually watercolor the storyboards because I'm like very visual and getting my ideas across. Yellow is my favorite color in the world. It's so, so bright. It's like a much quieter sort of less social form of art than what I do for a living. I want to use these for the rest of my life. It's so pretty. These are tuck kits by a brand called Unclockable. I really wanted to bring these and show these off today because they are really useful for the dolls or anybody who needs to tuck. I have them on my rider for every photo shoot thing I ever do. It's like cute and it comes with detailed instructions on how to do a tuck because nobody likes tucking. It's not really fun. Beforehand, I had kind of just been winging it with like tape, sometimes even duct tape, which is not fun. This is like the most comfortable option I've ever had. And I also just love that it's like by trans people for trans people. 
these are my headphones. I prefer a wired headphone. These are great for the plane or being on set and you wanna tune everything out. I use music as like an emotional cue sometimes for work. Even within Euphoria, I would have different playlists for like different relationships I had with different characters. I also find just in life, I kind of listen to something like really intensely until I tire it out and then I just like don't touch it for a while. And then when that piece of music comes back into my life, it's sort of like when you smell like a scent and it takes you back to a point in life when that scent was around. I feel like music does the same thing for me. Like if I ever miss Euphoria, Pure Heroin by Lord was like my album to kind of get in like to that angsty high schooler teenage girl who's sad headspace. I would listen to Pure Heroin a lot. This is a little snail plushie. Not to say that I need this particular snail, but I do need something of this squishy, sweet nature. I just saw this when I was in Japan and my heart leapt. I knew that it needed to come home with me. So I've literally had this with me for like two months straight now. It's really great because it fits in a purse or a pocket, whatever I need something to touch or look at because it's so fucking cute. Wait, can I curse? Whatever. It's like a binky is honestly what it is. If that makes me an adult baby, then so be it. I have a really big problem with overhead lighting. It's, you know, something that's hard to have a problem with because it's everywhere all the time. But I do what I can to control locations and circumstances where I can. This light in particular is by a brand called Halo Edition. The light that these produce is like a huge orb. It makes a giant circle and it does this just like gorgeous gradient. You can turn off all the lights in like your trailer and bath in a beautiful sunset. It is also very important to have portable forms of entertainment with me because there's a lot of sitting around and waiting when you're an actor or traveling or whatever. So I usually like to keep cards around and these ones are really special because they're Ponyo themed. My sister gave these to me. They have beautiful stills of the movie. They're so cute and Ponyo is like one of my favorite films ever. One of my favorite games in the world is called Farkle. It's a dice game. You actually need six dice, but I have four here so I couldn't play Farkle right now if I wanted to. It gets really really competitive. It's kind of like half strategy, half chance to kind of raise the stakes a little. You can bet. I did get Anne Hathaway to play Farkle with us. She got really into it before she had to start um, filming. We had to finish the game without her because, you know, she was the lead of the movie and she had a lot to do. But when she was involved, she was in on it and she was really good at it also. These might just look like legal pads, but these kind of single-handedly keep my life together. I'm a to-do list person. It's the only way I can remember to do anything. These come with me everywhere. It's lined and there's a little margin for the checkbox in there. Checking it off is the best feeling. It's pretty up there as far as like dopamine hits go. If for some reason I don't have this, I will try and make a to-do list like in the notes on my phone. I never look at it again. I don't know. 